Living in a submarine is already tough for many sailors on board. But now imagine living in a submarine that was infested by bed bugs. That was the case for the fast attack sub Connecticut and it became a flashing point between enlisted sailors and their leaders. We spoke to the Navy Times' Jeff Zuluwitz, who told us how this happened, as well as how he discovered this story. So, uh, you know, several of our stories here at Navy Times come to us from uh, sailors in the fleet who, uh, you know, feel their command is doing them wrong or that uh, a certain situation needs to be aired out. And the story of the bed bugs aboard uh, the submarine Connecticut was one of those situations. We were contacted by a petty officer who, like most sailors, requested anonymity uh, to speak freely with us uh, to avoid retribution from his command. But this petty officer basically told us that for most of 2020, the Connecticut's been dealing with a uh, rampant bed bug infection that has just impacted you know every corner of life in the cramped confines of the submarine. So it's one of those stories that we wouldn't have been able to bring to the public and hopefully push some change if a sailor hadn't reached out to us in the first place. And how bad do the sailors say the infestation got? Uh, pretty bad, pretty bad. Um, anybody who's had experiences with bed bugs knows they are a uh, stubborn, nasty little insect that can be very, very hard to get rid of. Um, you know, a big problem for the sailors, according to several I spoke with, was uh, they alleged that the command didn't believe them. Uh, they had a hard time catching uh, any bed bugs to show to the command for some time. And uh, the Navy actually has a policy that they don't begin uh, fatal countermeasures, as, as one official put it, uh, until you actually find the bed bugs. So, uh, you know, the submariners aboard the sub were getting bitten up for most of 2020, but it sounds like the command didn't even really begin to listen to them until they actually were able to capture some of these things and uh, uh, bring them to the, to the triad. Uh, according to sailors we spoke with, sailors, you know, submariners took to, you know, sleeping in the crew mess area where they eat their meals or sleeping in chairs. Uh, just sleeping anywhere to get away from the racks that have become infested. And uh, uh, something that makes this a little bit more hellacious is that uh, on a fast attack submarine like the Connecticut, uh, sailors do what's called hot racking. Um, most of you in the fleet probably know what that is, but it basically involves sharing your bed and you, you get it for a shift. So uh, I think that kind of made, you know, last year doubly nasty for the... Uh, the bug bitten crew of the Connecticut. And what's the Navy saying that they did in order to uh, cheat these bugs? Uh, they have done a bunch of different uh, measures, um, Navy approved pesticide sprays. Um, and, you know, they say they brought in some new mattresses and things like that. Uh, and that, you know, Navy entomologists uh, have cleared the boat and cleared these spaces for habitation. Um, but, you know, they didn't, when I asked, they didn't definitively say, you know, this ship is uh, bed bug free. Again, that speaks to just how pernicious these these pests can be. There are certain problems that can happen when there's a bed bug infestation in a submarine. Uh, what are those? What are those kind of problems that could happen? Sure. Um, you know, part of it just goes to the nature of uh, submarine lives and, and missions. I mean, you're in this metal tube far, far below the sea, uh, below the surface level, rather. Uh, you're doing very secretive missions in close quarters. And several sailors we spoke to from the Connecticut said, look, when you're getting bitten up by bed bugs, you don't get a good night's sleep. And then you go to your work shift fatigued. And one petty officer told me, you know, he worries that, you know, some exhausted bed bug bitten sailor is going to be, you know, driving the boat and quote, crash into an underwater mountain because they're tired. So, you know, sub life is already stressful enough and already kind of exists on this, you know, razor's edge of, of capability and, and all that. And so when you throw in exhaustion because you're getting bitten up by an insect infestation, it just makes the consequences that much more potentially severe. Now, sailors are telling Jeff that morale in the sub is reportedly in the toilet. They stressed to our colleague that living on a sub requires a certain tempo, but this has just made matters worse. 
between the sailors saying one thing and the Navy saying that they've done enough to control the problem, we're really not sure whether enough was done or not. I'm Jesse Karangu for Defense News Weekly.